There's smart people everywhere, okay? There are genius people everywhere. Master Shea women mentioned those people created something that creates a new era. IT, technology, spacecraft. There's a smart people. But why are we still lacking the elements that make us truly a global superpower village, something like that, like bond us together because we're lacking this internal practice. In Chinese, we call Nei Gong, internal Kung Fu. External Kung Fu is like science, technology, um, philosophy and all that. But internal Kung Fu, reflective, contemplative, and oral and virtues, that the quality, inner quality, that we will make good use of this external effort that we have been made for over 400 years of scientific achievements is lacking. So in order to be a civilization, I'm talking about big scale, worthy of all this uh, edge, like to, if you want to be as good as a civilization uh, of Earth, then we need to have that quality, that depth of for, uh, that can carry this much fortune. Otherwise, disaster will happen, war will happen, and all that, all that pain will happen. So the first thing we need to learn is humility. Be humble. Learn from the past. How these people have created golden age. Understand that there are always negative, obviously, they are of during that period of time in just, but we also need to learn from them because there's a lot of um, understanding. I, I think it's better now, nowadays, but back in 1800s and 1900s, we are all very looking down on the past people. We think of them as apes, not thinking that if that person ha can manage to achieve like maybe one era of golden age or a, a relative peace for 300 years, amongst all that pressure, internal politics and external problem, what brings them together? So this is something we need to, as a modern people, we need to be humble. We need to learn what's good from them and then apply in our current um, dry out uh, politics, dry out, um, dry out civilization. We dry out internally because we keep chasing outside. We're lacking something that can regenerate a, a new achievement. As a, as, a, as a whole global, no, no more China, no more US, whole global, global <laughs> civilization, basically. And that's what Master Ching Kong's wish is, and that's what my, I aspire to follow. It will not be in my generation, it will not be in my grandchildren's generation, it will be another few hundred years. But what we're trying to do right now is just to plant the seeds, to get that idea out, west, east, north, south, whatever and trying to build that consensus gradually over hundreds of years. And eventually I hope that we have that consensus of five precepts, 10 meritorious deeds or 10 commandments or that then, and it becomes usable in a modern practical manner. And at the same time, we have our internal rejuvenation. Like we have, we, can, we are creative insight, no longer dead and blunt as the signs have portray our universe. We are just a rock and that's the rock. There's nothing in there because we only see what we see, right? Which is very narrow. Our, even our color spectrum is narrow. <laughs> our, our hearing decibel is narrow, guys. There's so much we don't see. There's so much we can't see. We need something, some myth or not myth, some legend that's part of our era that belongs to everyone. So going back to the reality, it has to start from this basic Kung Fu. So, you know, changing destiny, changing your destiny, changing your family destiny, changing your country destiny, changing your earth destiny. It all takes this step to go. You know, someone else to guide you, learn the guide, learn what you need to do, reform, learn to accumulate uh, the merits and learn to hold the merits, learn not to show off the merits, learn not to attach to the merits. Learn when to release the merits. It will, it will, it will, it will create fruition by itself. But we just need to keep accumulate deep, deep, deep merits so that next generation who reborn into this world, they will people will the same level of merit. They will inherit the merit that you have accumulated. And yeah. Anyway, so thank you so much. Um, that's all I want to say. Uh, I might stretch a little bit for this one, but. Uh,
I'm just trying to show you how powerful we can be if we able to, you know, use this properly. The potential is endless, and the historical precedent is there. Um, it's just the mindset we need to change a bit. Uh, we are not lacking talent. We're not lacking resources. Yes, we have population growth and all that problem, but trust me, it, it's not a problem when it's managed. And to manage, you can't have someone else imposing. This is not the era anymore. It has to be automatic by yourself. Individuals learn what your role is and work together. This is what democracy is. Everyone learned their own responsibility, not just the privilege, the responsibility towards this family, this relationship, these children. From there, not the nation that's too big. And then to current community, and then you talk about nation. We need to go back to that. And when we get that right and implant that into next generation and pass down, only then we can have the very strong bond 